Hey, Eagle fans, your Statesboro Walmart is your one-stop shop for all your Georgia Southern football and game day needs. Pick up your GSU sports gear here. We have t-shirts, hats, tote bags, koozies, stadium bleacher seats, car spirit flags, wall pennants, beads, and more right here at the best prices in town. Also, don't forget, we can handle all of your tailgating needs with our great food trays, baked goods, and fresh, high-quality meat, seafood, and chicken. Walmart. Save money. Live better. Walmart. On this week's show, the Georgia Southern Eagles prepare for a long road trip to New Mexico State. We have interviews and analysis coming up as we welcome you inside the Eagles' Nest. And welcome inside the Eagles Nest. I'm your host, Josh Aubrey, being joined as always by Matt Yogis, the sports editor and Georgia Southern beat writer for the Statesboro Herald. And Matt, Georgia Southern keeps on rolling right along in the Sun Belt. This past week, we were both very shocked by an 18-point spread. I guess we shouldn't have been. They ended up winning by 20, pretty much doing to App what App did to Georgia Southern last year. And what a year, what a difference a year makes as the score was almost flip-flop last year at App. Yeah, Cam Bryant's the guy that lost the QB job this year to Taylor Lamb, the freshman quarterback, Bobby Lamb's son. And he really picked apart Georgia Southern last year, so you had to figure if he got beat out by Lamb, Lamb was going to do some damage. And he didn't really get going until the second half. Georgia Southern played great run defense, kind of forcing the issue and making Taylor Lamb try to beat him. And obviously he didn't have what it took, Georgia Southern – Cruises again, and that offense, man, they're leading the nation in rushing. And what more can you say? Kevin Ellison, Matt Breida, both averaging over seven yards a carry. What has surprised you more, the Georgia Southern offensive production, considering especially since we had such a question mark at the running back going into the year, or the Georgia Southern defense, which has really kind of been a little overshadowed, but have played great, especially the last few games. Number one surprise to me is the defensive line. We've seen guys like Ryan George, Jamal Johnson getting in there, making plays, and we thought that was going to be a weakness heading into the season. But 12 sacks already this year. They had 11 all of 2013. So you got to be impressed with what that defensive line's done. When they're rolling, they're forcing the issue with the quarterback, and that makes the secondary get some more shots at interceptions, and that's exactly what we've seen. And one of the other issues, that Georgia Southern had, at least in the past couple years, was creating turnovers. They don't seem to be having that problem this year. I believe they might be first in the nation. Yeah, a couple interceptions against App State, and one of them came at the one-yard line. That red zone defense really bowed up. Appalachian State moving the ball between the 20s and, and really just not able to do anything. Part of it was being a little over-aggressive, going for it on fourth down by them, but Georgia Southern got the stop when they were asked to, and then Again, the interception uh, kept that from scoring in the red zone, and you can do that to somebody, you're going to have uh, some pretty good success. All right, well, this week it's on the road at New Mexico State. New Mexico State 1-0 and in the conference, but, of course, that is only one victory, and it did come against Georgia State. Your thoughts on Georgia Southern hitting the road? I guess the one big thing that's in their favor is they've already flown once. This one a couple of time zones over, though. Do you feel like there's any chance of a letdown against New Mexico State? Well, Coach Fritz seemed pretty confident that he wasn't going to make it an issue, and if you don't make it an issue, it's not going to be one. So, you know, we'll see what happens. It's a, it's a longer trip, like you said, than they're used to, 1,500 miles away in the desert, different climate. All those things might play a factor a little bit, but the main storyline to me is the number one rushing offense in the country against the worst rush defense in the country. So on paper, Georgia Southern should be able to run all over. All right. Well, we had a chance to talk with Coach Fritz and a few of the players about the upcoming matchup against New Mexico State. That's that's one of our goals, obviously, is to, to win the conference. Uh, I think any, any time you're in a conference, that needs to be your number one objective is to win the conference. and. And uh, like I told the guys on uh, in our team meeting, you know, each one of these games counts as one. There's not, you know, they don't give you a half for one win or two for another win. Each one of them counts as one. And so we got to go out there and play the very best we can each and every week. I know they they flew out and, and got a win at Georgia State, and uh, you know they've they've uh, they played well this year. You know, came within a whisker of beating New Mexico and UTEP. You know, I'm sure they felt like they could have won both those ball games. So, uh, you know, we can't overlook anybody. We've, we've got to play great each and every week in order to come away with a win. You know, I'm not even going to address the elevation. It starts to affect you when you get over 5,000 feet. It's it's 3,900 and something. So that's absolutely no factor whatsoever. Uh, 
you know, and then time zones, we're going to sleep in a bunch and, and uh, set our clocks ready to go six o'clock mountain time. Oh, I think they're uh, uh, going to do the same thing they've been doing offensively. They spread you out. Uh, their, their running game is, is not uh, real complex. They're going to run the inside zone, and they got a couple complement run plays besides that, but that's basically it in the run game. And, and uh, you know, they, they'll throw the ball around and get into three-by-one sets and two-by-two two sets, a little bit of tight end, but quite a bit of 10 personnel. So they're going to try to get their athletes out in space against you. And, and then also run the you know the bubble and the tunnel game, which you see out of a lot of people. My coaches tell us each and every week just stay focused because you know we put in new schemes every different week. So um, you got to make sure you're on top of things and watch a lot of film. Make sure you're paying attention and locked in on everything that we got going on for that specific week. You know, it's just great to be able to fly the games. You know, that's, we're not used to that. So just being able to get on the plane and make the trip a little bit quicker so we can get there and prepare for them. You know, that's just it's a great feeling. Well, for me, this is my second time on the plane. It was a good experience, so this should be a fun trip. We just got to stay focused on the trip and don't let everything mess with our head and take us out of our game. We're really going to work on our pass rush. We've been looking at film. They throw a couple quick passes, so we're going to have to get our hands up in passing lanes also. So it'll be a good challenge for our defensive line to see where we stand. We got to go up there and uh, bring our A game just like we do every week. Um, you know, don't take this team lightly. Um, any team can come out any day and uh, have a great game. So we just got to come up, come up there like we prepare for any other game and, uh, you know, try and get a win. Because I feel like now we'll be uh, more adjusted to it and more comfortable um, knowing what to expect, you know, um, flying and getting off a plane and doing all that stuff. So I feel like uh, definitely that first flight definitely helped prepare us for uh, this game coming up. With more than 100 years of experience under one roof, Complete Car Care on 207 Northside Drive can do it all for your car or truck, gas or diesel, even hybrids. Motors, tune-ups, front-end, air conditioning, transmissions, electrical. Complete Car Care does it all. When others say no, Complete Car Care says yes. Come see what Michael and his team can do for you at Complete Car Care, 207 Northside Drive. Well, Matt, I believe Georgia Southern is the only team in the FBS who have covered the spread each week. We talk a lot about what we think a game will turn out to be, and uh, we haven't been too correct in this regards either. This week on the road at New Mexico State, your thoughts on how you think this one will play out? Well, the spread's lower than the Appalachian State spread, which surprises me, especially when you take into account the fact that their rush defense has given up over 300 yards a game. <laughs> And they haven't played Georgia Southern yet. Now, they have played some option teams. We know that skews the numbers a little bit, but that's a lot of yards to be given up. Seems like Georgia Southern should be the, the going away favorite, and they are. But three touchdowns to me seems more, you know, accurate, 21, 24 points. But it's at 18 right now. It looks like it's going down. You know, maybe the road is the factor in that. But, uh, you know, with that spread last week, 19 points, Georgia Southern barely covers. Maybe Vegas is starting to figure them out. All right, Matt, going to put you on the spot. Give me an estimate of what you think the score is going to be here on the road Saturday evening at New Mexico State. Well, New Mexico State's offense is a little different from anything Georgia Southern's seen. A lot of passes built into the run game, a lot of run-pass option going on. Georgia Southern hasn't seen that yet. I think they'll score some points. Won't be enough. I think Georgia Southern 45, New Mexico State 21. Wow, so you think they're going to shoot, shoot out and score a lot of points? Yeah, I think Georgia Southern's going to score a ton of points. We've seen them move the football, but the, you know the points haven't been coming in, in some belt play. I think this is the game that really breaks open. We see even more big plays out of Georgia Southern's offense. All right, I'm going with more of a, a little bit lower, maybe a 31-14 Georgia Southern victory. I think you know, it wouldn't be a letdown to have that kind of a score, but I think it might be a little bit closer to like what Vegas has, because I think a lot of people think they're just going to run over them. And if they do, won't be too surprised because they've proven they can do that. Well, that'll wrap it up for this week's Eagles Nest. For Matt Yogis, I'm Josh Aubrey. Thanks for joining us. Hope to see you again next week.